thought we'd have a little go at a hot cross bun as it's Easter. So I'm just going to sketch an oval top. A little bit of a side. Follow that round and pop a cross on. So I'm going to arch that over. And arch this side. few currants on there as well. So I've got four colours here, just a dab of each colour, raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue and rose madder. So that's what I'm going to use there. So I'm going to come on to the base of the hot cross bun, but I'm minding the cross. I'm going to leave that dry. So this is a little bit of water going on. I'm going to dab into my raw sienna. Dabbing this on. Get a nice base. I'm going to dab into the rose madder. Just take a little bit on to give a little bit of warmth. I've rinsed that brush out, I'm going to drop down to a smaller brush, so a number six brush. I'm going to start to come in with the burnt umber. So I don't want to eliminate all of the colour that's already there. I want to leave some of that showing through. Still nice and wet. I've still got plenty of time. So I'm getting that sort of golden crust on here now. I'm going to pop the direction of the light coming this way. So whilst I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about shadow. So this is a little bit of the ultramarine blue. So I've dabbed into that as well. I'm just going to start to darken this side. It's going to start to give it a more sort of three-dimensional effect. Make it a little bit darker around that bottom edge as well. Brush a little bit of a rinse. I'm going to come back into the burnt umber. Get a little bit more down this side. I 
tone and they don't want it to look too different. Okay, so I've rinsed my brush out and then I've taken the excess water off. I'm just going to lift a little bit more light back out of here. So with a damp brush you can lift out a little bit. I just don't want that to be too dark down that side. And if you want to lift out any additional light here, you can do. I have left quite a lot of light, but it's just showing you if it goes too far, you can control it and take a little bit back out. Just need a bit of tissue and a clean damp brush. Same with if I wanted to take a little bit just here, look. Take a little bit out. I'm going to dab into the Burnt Umber and Ultramarine to make a dark current colour. And then I can start to dab. Create some currents on here as well. So basically wherever you want them can dab them in. Think random. Now they're spreading out a little and I quite like that. I'm going to show you how I can sharpen them up when they're dry. So I want some different sizes, different shapes. You can leave a little bit of light within there. Okay, I'm going to dry that one off. Dry now. It's already looking like a pretty decent hot cross bun. I'm going to just take this edge off here. So this is with a wet brush. So I've just got a bit of a corner that I don't want and a bit of tissue. And I'm just gonna just agitate the brush on the surface. And because the paint's dry, it will start to lift. It's just a bit too sharp that edge. Okay, so if I now wet into the cross and take a very light bit of raw sienna in there just so it's not totally white And just touch in with a bit of the burnt umber at these edges. It's going to take a little bit through there, just you might have a bit of shadow. Just with a damp brush, just soften that in. It's just anchoring that to the surface of the hot cross bun, really. and swap back up to my bigger brush. So the direction of the light is coming this way, which means our shadow needs to come in this side. So I'm gonna pop some water where the shadow would be. And I'm gonna dip into the blue. really nice shadow and it just grounds everything if you get a shadow it stops it floating okay 
and you want that little bit of a dome for the top of the bun. And this bit coming along the side. I've swapped down to my smaller brush and then dab into the burnt umber and the ultramarine to get a nice dark grey. I can bring that along the base and it really helps it make makes it pop out stand up from the surface that little bit of dark can see that standing forward now. With that same colour I'm going to come on to some of these raisins now. If it looks very similar then add a bit more blue and the blue will make it the mix darker. I can just start to define those currants and raisins a little bit more. If you leave some of the edge softer, it works really nicely. You can leave a really fine highlight. I've got a really light bit there. So this is going on to dry. And they won't all be on the surface, so you can just dab onto some and there'll be a, just a, a darker bit showing and the rest will be underneath and the soft paint will do that for you. So don't do them all like that. You only want a few to be totally proud, really. Just softening this one in a little bit more. So this is just a damp brush coming round. One, two. So with that same colour now I can pop in any more shadow that I might want. So if I want to help the cross pronounce a little bit, just very finely. Just come along create a bit of an edge I'm not outlining I'm adding shadow what you then do is with a wet brush just touch that colour on that one side and just move it to soften it in just so it's not quite as sharp then it doesn't look like an outline and the same with this edge look so I'm going to come along just define that edge clean wet brush come along the bottom of that edge and just soften it in then it gives you that shadow a few little bits of texture if you draw with the paint draw down vertically you'll start to get that feeling that it is vertical so I'm just doing little bits down vertically and then dabbing in in places with a wet brush and then 
I'm just going to clean my bigger brush and with some water, so just a dab of water, a dab of the rose madder and a dab of the burnt umber, I'm going to create a little bit of a glaze. So this is fairly watery and I can just come on and a glaze is a transparent layer which just gives depth just helps connect it all together so it's very good for adding highlights and shadow it's very good for connecting everything together so I'm going to leave a few little bits as highlights very good for warming or cooling something down depending on what glaze you use and take a little bit down this side as well not too much because I want this, this side to stay a bit lighter because the light's coming this way and then I'm just going to with a damp brush just soften that in because I don't want it to be too harsh a, shadow, a highlight And then I'm just going to sharpen up this bottom edge. So this is the mix of burnt umber and ultramarine, nice and dark. I'm just going to come along this bottom edge just to help the cross bun pop out from the page. If you want to choose a background colour, you can choose any really. Pop a bit of a background in. If I mix a little bit of the ultramarine blue with the rose madder, I'll have a little bit of a purple background. So I'm coming straight on to dry here. I'm just going to do a simple. Sort of flat background colour just to help the hot cross bun stand out. Okay. 